Good day, we will discuss the term three past year in 2022, question 18. Describe the propagation of sound waves in A. So this is something you learn in SPM. So it is a longitudinal waves where particles vibrate in the direction parallel to the direction of wave propagation. And it is consists of compressions and rarefaction region. So two points, two marks. Next is a string of length L with mass per unit length M is stretched between two fixed points with a tension T. Do you have an expression for the frequency of the string when the string vibrates at the fundamental mode? So this is something you have learned in the syllabus and always take note on the derivations in the exam. So you are given with variables L, M, and T. So you need to make sure also the expression, okay, the expression of frequency should be in terms of those variables. So we learned about the fundamental mode okay, for a two fixed point. Okay, this is how it is it is look like. Okay, we have two nodes. So the length of the string is half of the wavelength. And what we learned before is that we derive the wavelength into V over F, and we can get the fundamental frequency is V over 2L. However, okay, we need to also include the variables M and T, okay, we, uh, which is mentioned in the question. So not to forget about another formulas that is given in the syllabus. We don't need to learn about the directions that the speed is square root of T over mu, where mu is the mass per unit length, which is given in the question M. So what we have is that the V is equal to the square root of T over M, put it into the formulas, and the final expression for the frequency of the string is 2L multiplied square root of T over M. So we move on to the next question. Sketch the shape of the string for the second overtone and determine the distance between two consecutive notes in terms of the fundamental wavelength. So we need to learn about the second overtone. Okay, what is the second overtone is that we have four notes. Okay, so fundamental notes, we have two notes. Uh, and then next we have the first overtone. Then we have the second overtone. So the question also mentioned about the fundamental wavelength, okay, which is not really mentioned in the syllabus before, but I think it is not too difficult that you can relate it with the fundamental frequency. So fundamental wavelength is the wavelength that is in fundamental mode, where we learn that L is 1 over 2 lambda. Okay, in the previous question, we also mentioned this formula. So the wavelength here is the fundamental wavelength. So we're going to re, uh, re-label the wavelength as lambda naught which is the fundamental wavelength. So during the second of a tone, okay, we want to find out the distance between two consecutive nodes. So the distance is one third of the length of the string, D equal to L over three. So to link, okay, to relate it to the fundamental wavelength, we just do the substitution, L equal to one over two lambda naught, put into the equations, and you can get the distance is one over six of the fundamental wavelength. We shall move on to question C. An ambulance moves at speed 42 meters per second and sounds the siren at a frequency of 960 hertz. A bus which is in front of ambulance stops at the roadside upon hearing the siren. Question 1. Determine the frequency of the siren heard by the passengers in the bus. So I think this is quite straightforward. Okay, we have the moving source of sound, okay, which is the ambulance at the speed of 42 meters per second and the stationary observer, okay, the bus, okay, which is stopped. So it is a stationary observer. So we want to know the apparent frequency heard by the passenger of the bus. Just apply the formula that we have, V over V minus the speed of the moving source, multiply the original frequency. So put in all those values where the speed of the sound is 330 meters per second, and you should get the answer is 1,100 hertz. So the next question is to determine the wavelength of the sound wave reflected by the bus and heard by the ambulance driver. So this is an interesting question that you want to know about the sound wave reflected by the bus and heard by the ambulance driver. So the role is different now. Okay, so just now we have the source of the sound is by the ambulance and the observer by the bus. So now the source is come from the bus and observed by the ambulance driver. So a similar question has been discussed, which is also in Parsi or STPM 2018. So if you have go through my video, this should be not a problem for you. So just a quick through about the question here. So we have the Ali blowing a whistle and we can see that the sound propagates in two directions. First is from Ali to Chong. So this is the case where we have the moving source and a stationary observer. 
And then the second part, which is uh, the, the things that is you can relate in this question is that the between Ali and the wall, moving source and the stationary observable. So from here, we can calculate the, the frequency as what we have done just now. And then we can see that the sound reflected by the wall is the same, okay, which is also 502.95 hertz. So in the case of the question in 2018, it is the case where we have the stationary chong and also the stationary wall. So a similar concept, but we have a slightly different role is that uh, we have a stationary bus and a moving ambulance. So what we have is here that we're going to refer to the case where we have the moving observer and the stationary source. So the frequency that is reflected by the wall should be the same, uh, which is we obtain in the first question, 1,100 hertz. So this is, should be the original frequency reflected by the bus. And then we shall apply the formula of V minus the moving the speed of the moving observer divided by the V multiply the original frequency. So take note that the direction, the moving directions of the ambulance driver and the sound wave reflected by the bus in, is in opposite direction. So we have 330 minus negative 42. So from here we can obtain the apparent frequency is 1240 hertz. And to obtain the wavelength of the sound, just apply the formula of lambda equal to V over F, you should get the wavelength is 0 0.266 meter. And then the last question is to step the change in frequency heard by the passenger of the bus after ambulance overtakes the bus. One max. So step the change. So I think it should be sufficient enough to say that a prep frequency is decreased after the ambulance overtakes the bus. So if you try to do the calculations also, you can also see that the frequency definitely lower than 1,100 hertz. So that's all for question 18. Thank you.